G'day everybody and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a uh, couple of things I've, uh, I've picked up. Um, I've gone down the rabbit hole of thermal, everyone's going down that, that, roll, that, that road and uh, yeah, I'm included, I've jumped on the bandwagon. Um, so I've jumped in at the entry level, as I always do with these things, uh, mainly because I won't get, I won't get wifely permission to go and spend um, the equivalent of the, small, the GDP of a small African country on thermal. So there we go. Um, it's all night tech stuff, as I said, all entry level stuff. Um, it is what it is, you can't expect miracles from this sort of stuff, but what you're gonna do with it, and this, as I say, this, the entry level bottom, sort of lower level stuff, it will work fine. I have no doubt about it, it will work fine. I haven't had a chance to field test it, just through, uh, through circumstances and the, just the ducks won't line up what's at all, so, but hopefully, cross fingers, that's in the next couple of weeks. I've gone around all the around, around the paddocks and, and, and the bush and everything around here, just looking at things out the car and that, and I've no trouble no trouble spotting spotting hares, I've got no trouble spotting deer, kangaroos, wallabies, dogs, anything. Cats, I've spotted cats, no problems at all. You can identify what they are, no problems at all. So <clears throat> here we go. We've got uh, the uh, Night Tech, they're both it's all Night Tech gear. We've got the Night Tech MS19 uh, thermal scope. And we've got the Night Tech XD Mini Site 2 thermal monocular. So we'll uh, we'll start with the scope. What you get with it is basically the scope. Pretty comprehensive set of instructions that um, make really good because they're actually in English, so you can read them. It's good. You get a really nice little carry bag. That's really well padded and all that. You get that with it. You get your charger cable. Uh, these now these things you shouldn't charge these things in here because they run on four of these uh, little. CR123, uh, RCR123A batteries. It's, it's, it runs on two of these rather, and uh, they're rechargeable. You, they, it's got a charging port in it, but it's recommended by the, by the manufacturer to charge the batteries, charge the batteries outside the, uh, outside the device, and take your batteries out because you, you put a put thing away, you might use it for eight months, and uh, you know how it's with batteries when they go bad in go bad in appliances, but the batteries are not supplied. You have to go and buy some batteries. It takes two, I went and bought four, so you got some more. I bought myself a little cheap Kmart charger uh, for the, uh, to, to, uh, to charge things. And I went and bought a battery charger, a little Nightcore battery charger. That, that'll charge both the batteries and that'll, uh, I think that'll even charge the, uh, the 18600s for those big torches. And uh, this one can run off 240 power or it can run off 12 volt power out of a car cigarette lighter. So uh, so there we go, you, you've got to go and buy got to go and buy all that stuff. That's the way it goes. Um, and it also comes with the mount. Now this mount can only be mounted on a Picatinny rail. It won't fit a weaver rail, it'll only fit a Picatinny rail. Um, a weaver will fit Picatinny, but Picatinny won't fit weaver. That's, that's how it goes. So this this is a quick quick uh, quick detached mount and you've got four Spots there where you can you can sorry you can set the uh, scope at three different spots. It'll mate up to two two screw holes because you've got two screw holes on the bottom. It'll mate up to two of them. One, two, three. So you can set your eye, eye relief from where you want to uh, where you want to set everything. And uh, it comes with the two screws, obviously. And you even get where is it? You even get your little tool, little Allen little. little cocky little Allen key, just to do everything, just to do everything up. So you can use this use this thing wherever, you know. Um, now we go to the monocular side of things. You get the monocular, obviously. As I said, this thing is reasonably clear. You muck around with it, you'll learn to use it. Nice set of comprehensive instructions. Again, happy days in English. Nice little carry bag, just a little drawstring carry bag there. And you get the charger. This, got, this one's got the built-in built uh, lithium battery. You charge this one through the uh, through the wall charger. Okay, you get a couple of little lanyards and and all that sort of bizzer, and even you get a little carry strap if you want to put the thing around your neck or over your shoulder or go to the Mardi Gras with it, whatever. So what we'll do now. We'll uh, we'll uh, fit this on a rifle, and uh, first we have to fit a Picatinny rail on the rifle so we can get this thing on. So uh, let's get into that. Right, yeah, we're back. Rain on the roof. Um, Apologise for that. Not much you can do about that, but you never knock the rain back. Okay, I've taken the uh, we I'll weaver rail off the uh, off the rifle. This is the 70, 78 HMR, and uh, we've taken the weaver rail off, and we put a Picatinny rail on. Just uh, 
Weaver will fit Picatinny, but Picatinny won't fit Weaver. That's the way it goes. Okay. I, had, I couldn't get anything in the shop. I finished up buying one of these EGW ones. I do like these EGW rails. Could not find these in the shop anywhere. Got this one from Australian Tactical Precision, Tactical Precision in Dural in New South Wales. Got that online. Took about a week to get here, reasonably priced. And that, that's the way it goes. It's, that's welcome, that's the COVID world. So that's been um, that's been all uh, all talked down to spec. It's uh, a drop of the Loctite on the uh, drop of blue Loctite on the uh, on the screw, and it's all talked down to 20 inch pounds as per manufacturer's specification. All right, let's get this scope on. Now we'll try to get through this before the rain comes. Okay, there's your rail. Your rail, your your mounting rail rather sits on your pick rail. Slot in there like that. It sits over like that. Grabs the claw and then you do the you do the catches up. That's basically how it works. You want to get it off. There's two buttons there. Push that. The catch is open. I'll turn it over for you. And hopefully you can see that. At uh, you push those two little spring loaded buttons and those two little little knobs come out and push the catch open. Catch is open. So there we go. So all right. So that sits up there like that. You've got to sit this the right way round, the scope the right way round, and the rail the right, right way round. And number one, the catches will always be on the left or port side of the rifle. So we worked out where we want to set the thing. I've taken the liberty of doing that off camera because that's just a lot of trial and error, and that's just unscrewing, screwing, unscrewing, unscrewing. Boring, bad shit, really. You don't want to watch that. So I've got, uh, I'm going to put it, there's four holes there, so there's three positions. Two positions to each hole, uh, sorry, two holes to each position. So I'm just going to put it in the middle. That'll do. And, it, and it, sits, it, it runs down a little channel there, so you just slide it up there like that. And I'll just start these, start these two screws. So he's tightened up as tight that I want to get him. We'll just nip him right up. It is there. Oops. And he's there. So that's fine. He's nipped up. Right, he's the right way round, which is always good. That's going to look silly if you get your scope on backwards. Okay, now I worked out we want him on the uh, on the fifth slot in. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, under there. All right, we've got our pick slot. We've got a little pick stopper there that sits in the slot. Put the pinny stopper. See, right, there it is. So we'll just put him over there. In, oh, he's got a, he's got a catch and we'll do that and then we'll tighten these screws up. Now I'm going to come around here as well back to you unfortunately. These screws are actually left hand threads. It's usually righty tidy but it's lefty lefty tidy with these ones for some reason like that's about. So we'll tighten them up. Yeah if I was oh, if I was using a uh, a torque wrench that'd be uh, 30 inch pounds for these but I'm just going uh, to tighten these up as tight as I can get them because Early precise, that's pretty tight. But... And that's fine. So he's on there now. He's as good as gold. I'm happy with that, but yep, that's nice and tight. Everything's tight. So to get him off, we press our two buttons there. One, there's the other one. Two. Catch, catch, roll him off, he's off. Easy as that. Now, this is one thing they tout about this sort of stuff. You can move these thermal scopes and night vision scopes between firearms. That's one of their big selling points. And the, uh, the processors and, and, and all this in these things can store different profiles for different rifles. And the theory is, the theory is you can move this from rifle A to rifle B. When you get it on rifle B, you set, you reset your zero for that, save that, you put it back to rifle A, you hit that profile which is already stored and that should be bang back on. Because with these things, you're not moving a, uh, an image, a, a clear image in a reticle or, or some such thing like you do in a normal day scope, you're moving a pixel. You're moving like, like on, on a little screen, you're moving a pixel and you're basically designating a pixel as your point of impact. That's about as technical as I want to get because once they talk about processes and all this crap, I have no interest whatsoever. So. As I said, they're entry level stuff, it's not brilliant, but it will quite up, it will do the job. It will do the job. That, I have absolutely no fear. So we'll see how we go getting this on this other rifle. This is the old 243. So we'll see how we get him on him. Now I'm just gonna put him anywhere. Where's that pick stopper there? 
I'll just put him there for the purpose of the demonstration. Move forward, click, click. Fellas are off. There we go. Now we've moved one. We've moved the same scope from one rifle to another rifle. Now what we would do is we would re-zero to this rifle, store it, and then we've got two different profiles for do, for, do, uh, for this scope for two different rifles. So if you want to say you want to shoot some bunnies with the little gun, some bunnies with the little gun, and um, you want to use it on that, and then say late in the night you want to go and shoot some pigs with this big gun. Um, you can just change it over, and in theory, you should be right. I would, I would suggest, I would suggest when you do it, just check it. And they have this thing they, they tout. One of the big things they tout on these things is this one shot zero. Um, I've seen some people cite these things in. It's not quite the case. It's theoretical, but you'll do a one shot zero. But you've got to do it at say 20, 25 meters. Then you've got to move it back and do it again and do it again. You try and do this at 100 metres, your, vari your variation when you move these uh, reticles around and the pixels, the variations are too great and you just can't lose it. You, you, you're flat out hitting the side of a house. You've got to do it with small increments, you've got to do it on base magnification to start from there. So th that's going to be for another video citing this thing in. So uh, I'm going to leave this one there. Um, I can't wait to use this, these things. I was going to go and cite. I was going to go and cite this in this weekend, but uh, as you can hear, the rain falling on the roof. When I go to my mate's place to have a shoot, that spells quagmire. That spells bogged. That spells not doing anything. So that's the way it goes. I'm hoping that I don't get too much more rain because I've got a, uh, a trip on out west uh, week after next, and they've had heaps out there, and I don't really want to be getting any more, or I don't want to cancel yet another trip. So we'll see how we go, and I'm going to put this one to bed. Okay, so as I always say, I, I would really like it if, before I get to the ending, I'll say, if you like this video and you've got something out of it, please give it a like. Um, I do enjoy making these, and uh, and please comment, good, bad, and different. Um, and if you uh, if you did like the channel, please subscribe. I'd, I'd, it'd be really nice if you subscribe, subscribe to the channel and uh, keep things uh, keep things going. So uh, I'll uh, I'll put this one to bed now. And as I always say, you can uh, tell your wife, tell your girlfriend, you can tell them both. You put them on the thermal to see your, see your hot shears. No matter to me, just go two clicks up. Cut up.